All right, welcome to a assembly video. Um, I'm going to be showing you the flash kits. I've got a whole bunch of parts all clipped out here from the sprues. I'm going to actually be doing a separate video for the uh, knobs uh, sprue that's kind of compatible with this. But here you can see I've got a whole bunch of stuff clipped out. Still a lot of things to left to do. Um, what I've done is I've uh, got the the boss, the captain all ready to go and I've started to clip these out so these are the snaz guns, got them all kind of set in the little piles here of things that are ready to go. Also I've got all the, the bodies um, ready to go, they've got the flash, the mold lines uh, uh, trimmed off and uh, you can see how those are going to go together just like the other knobs. The one thing to note is the, the, the stance is a bit wider there so these are to go on the 40 mil bases and they're going to be pretty tight on a 25 mil base so if you look at that sticking way off the edge but that's okay um, because these are going to be some special guys for that so that's the other tutorial uh, so I'm just going to move these things off to the side for now and let's get to the captain so here we go here's all the bits for the captain so let's see if I can zoom in a touch here so uh, there are so many bits that you're going to have to clip out and put together this. So the, while it's an expensive kit, there's tons and tons of pieces. Um, you can see here, so here's the main body. Um, we've got the torso that's going to go on there. Got shoulder pads, snaz gun. So let's, uh, let's work our way through all that. So, I mean, the disappointing thing, I think, with this is that it's a uh, single pose, basically. You can switch around parts, but there is only really one way to pose it. There's... There's no variation here, not a lot of degrees of freedom, except for swapping out bits. So first things first, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be using uh, Tamiya Extra Thin Glue. So that's this stuff here, I really like using it. It's not the cheapest thing out there, um, but it's probably cheaper than GW stuff. So uh, you can probably find it at your local hobby store. So I just uh, put a little bit of bead on there, it flows around nicely, and I'm going to get my torso and just place it in and just put a little bit of extra glue just to make sure it flows in there and it's going to all done okay so you can see which order they do in the instructions here so the, it doesn't really matter um, how you do it I'm going to do the uh, the snaz gun uh, next actually first before I do that I'm going to put the neck on that's so you'll notice that these necks have that square bit there. They're going to be uh, a little bit different uh, than the knobs. The knobs have a little bump and uh, these guys are turning to the side. One thing to note, this captain, you need to use that specific uh, neck for him. That head goes along with it. So, not sure exactly how much that matters. I haven't tried different options there, but kind of neat how you can see his mouth uh, is open there inside so lots of different folds on that you've got the um, the collar there kind of behind the head and uh, there we go so it's going to go on there fits on that 40 mil nicely so we'll move them off to the side so here's our snaz gun and I've got all my bits clipped out for it uh, it doesn't really matter which ones you use um, but I chose to go with these ones you'll see here so I'm going to start off with the, the front of the barrel. So that's a two piece here. Some of these front barrel pieces are single piece, some of them are doubles. Um, and that's just going to go like that. There's a little bit of a ridge there and uh, good to go. Um, I'm going to glue that on as well. So all of these have different uh, ways they fit together. So the back side of there, you can see that it's got a nice little notch. Um, it's kind of interesting that this is uh, a lot of different weird angles on it. And the whole reason for that, there you can see, it's, it's the relief on the mold. And so the matching pieces that go in there, they've, uh, they've got that matching angle and they'll just slide right on there. So I can put those two top pieces on. right here make sure I've got enough glue in there okay so it's starting to shape up you can see how big of a gun that is now uh, when I chose the exhaust for this one I wanted to have kind of the biggest looking exhaust on the back side of the gun 
because this is going to be the captain. He's got to have the most impressive uh, weapon out there. Um, I also kind of um, picked the same sort of stuff that the uh, the GW captain has. So that was some of the reasons why I picked the pieces that I did. Uh, the one thing I did change is I put the tripod on. I'm going to put the tripod on the front here. Um, I didn't really think that it made sense that he had one hand free and uh, the gun was kind of self-supporting. So. Yeah, I think it needs to have a tripod if he's going to have one arm sw swinging his sword. So I've got that on there like that. So uh, he can hold it one-handed and it'll make a little bit more sense in that uh, regard. Okay, now where are my ammo clips? So I've got one here. That's going to go on the back. So get some glue. And I seem to have misplaced my other one. Um, it's got to be in my pile here somewhere. I think that might be it there. And this isn't the one that I cleaned up, so I have to scrape off those mold lines. There is a surprising amount of mold lines on this uh, this one. Most of the recent GW kits have been very good for mold lines. Um, but this one has uh, probably more than I'm used to seeing in recent uh, memory anyways for, for brand new kits. A lot of the old kits have plenty of mold lines, which isn't too big a deal. just uh, adds a bit of time to the whole process. Okay, so there's that in there. Make sure that is glued. And uh, that's basically the SNAS gun. So I have, oh, got the handle on the back side here. And there's a specific way that that goes on. Let's see here. Oh, it goes backwards. So matches up like that, I think. There we go. All the different controls on there. Okay, so I'm going to put that down and off to the side, and let's finish up the uh, the boss. So he's going to have this uh, back banner pole, and uh, they all have these. So there's five of these in the kit. Um, so there's not really not a lot of options. You've got to make sure that that's going to go backwards on there, so that way it faces forward on the model, and it'll be just like that. A little bit of a squeeze. Okay, now this might be one of those things that you want to glue on after the thing is uh, all painted up. Just I'm thinking that might be tricky. So we'll just hang on for a minute there. And uh, so these shoulder pads are going to go on. Now they all have, this goes actually the other ways, they all have this little uh, spot there. There's only enough shoulder pads in this kit to make uh, exactly the right number of guys. So that's something to think about if you're trying to uh, mix and match with knobs. So there you go, that's going to go there, so get some glue. And the reason they have that is just for their, their targeters that go on the shoulder. Um, this guy here has the targeter squig. There it is there. And I think I can glue that on now. Make sure it's kind of facing the right direction. Facing similar direction as him. And let's get the other shoulder pad on here. There we go. And I've chosen this arm with the, uh, the bionic sword on there to go uh, reaching out on that side. Figured that looks like a good boss sort of a pose to have, so let's just position that in there. Make sure that all lines up. There we go. Okay, so a couple more little tiny bits. Um, so this uh, this gun's going to go in front here and it's going to cover up a lot of the detail, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, there's so much really cool detail. His chest there. Um, but then there's this uh, sling here, or the, uh, the shoulder harness, that'll connect those two together. 
And uh, so let's glue him to the base. Actually, no, that might not have been the best idea. But I want to uh, position all this on here. So he's going to go kind of like that. And uh, this will go in there. So I'll make sure I line that up. And I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to start assembling all the rest of the guys. And we'll come back and show you that when we're done. So that's the basic assembly for the uh, flash kits with SNAS guns. You can see it's a quite impressive model there. Very large. Um, lots of bulk to it. So it's going to be really cool on the tabletop. And that kind of explains why you only get five guys in a box. Um, Lots of tiny, tiny parts, uh, lots of interchangeable things to make them customized, but uh, not a lot of posing options. Okay, so let's get back to this in a couple minutes. Okay, I finished uh, assembling all the rest of the flash kits, so let's uh, zoom out a touch. And here we go. Okay, so you already saw the, the captain, so he's all done up, everything uh, in place there. Um, there's some optional things like the little uh, sight there in the end of the gun. There's a couple little bits like that, as well the uh, the ammo spewing out, the shells spewing out the side. Those are optional as well, I guess. Um, depending on how much you have to transport your models, you may or may not want to uh, put those. Okay, so there's the captain. Uh, next up, we have this guy. So he's kind of got a bunch of shooter guns. That's why I picked this one, and uh, just tried to make it look like uh, some sort of a massive shooter. So we've got a couple shells coming out there, got the little uh, get finder, targeter or whatever it is. And um, yeah, so the banners on these guys, the difference between these ones and the knob, or the, sorry, the, the uh, boss, is that uh, these ones here, you, you select those, and, uh, and then you also select these little glyphs uh, below there. So there's only the right number of glyphs uh, in the box for two each. Um, but there's a bunch of extras of these top things. So you have, you can make five guys with uh, with these types of tops. So you don't have to use the captain one. Um, I'm not sure about the, the the get finder though. The the captain one is the the, the targeter squig, and there isn't an extra one uh, if you don't do it as a captain. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the other box I have. Um, otherwise, these guys all assemble just the same way as I showed the captain. So okay, so there's that guy with the shooter. Uh, this guy here, I've kind of done it as a big cannon sort of a thing with some wep guns, or sorry, shells spewing out. I'll zoom in a bit here. Um, I used all the pirate heads I could. Uh, this one here I chose because it had like a bandana. This one has a pirate hat sort of thing. I was going to give him um, the arm with the pistol, but... Uh, it didn't fit on with those teeth there, uh, so that's why I have this tripod. There's only two tripod options in the box, um, just as a note, but they all have this little uh, sling thing coming from their shoulder pad. Okay, so another pirate head on this guy, and he's kind of got an uh, energy weapon thing going on here. This, uh, These sort of things looking like a custom mega blaster with this under slung uh, bit there like that. And uh, yeah, so he's got dual action uh, targeter up the top and uh, some cool details. Oh, I think I forgot to show this guy here. He's got a, a servo uh, skull on the back there. It's kind of impaled on the uh, the pole, which is kind of cool because these, um, these targeters are kind of like servo skulls, at least for orky versions of them. So maybe that's what I'll use for the guy that's missing one in the other five. Okay, and then this guy here is kind of a plasma theme, so he's got the plasma shells at the bottom, the plasma barrel. He's got a little mini custom Mega Blast at the bottom, some sort of a capsule at the back there that can be painted up to look like plasma. And I, I chose this one here because it's got that little lamp, and there's a lamp on the main part of the uh, DEF gun. And uh, yeah, that's about it. This guy here has a big uh, piratey type of an earring, and um, yeah, some more details on the back. So as you can see, these guys take up that full 40 millimeter base, and uh, you know, even though they they have the same profile as knobs, they are a much bulkier model, um, almost uh, as bulky as say a, uh, me a mega knob with the uh, two up armor. But obviously, these guys don't have that. So anyways, I'm going to do another tutorial showing the. Uh, the way that you can combine this kit with the knobs, what I'm planning on doing is swapping the freebooter, or sorry, the uh, the flash kit bodies with the knob bodies. So giving the knobs the the def guns, the snaz guns, and then they'll become uh, free uh, 
uh, flash kits, getting my names all mixed up. And then the knobs, uh, sorry, the flash kit bodies, I'll use those with knob bits and make them kind of like freebooter knobs. I think that's the, the idea that I'm going to use there. So we'll see how that works out. Some of these guys have a pretty wide stance to fit on a 25 millimeter base, um, but uh, I think it'll still work okay. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check back. I'm going to be painting these guys up after I do that other assembly and uh, get that posted as soon as I can. Hope you enjoyed this and see you next time.